Okay, you guys, it's February 23rd, 2022. We are gonna take Moonloaf up into Sugarloaf. It's probably not gonna be the wisest move, especially with my sway bars being all screwed up, but uh, we're gonna do it. Because it's gonna be beautiful up there. It's gonna be the winter wonderland of winter wonderlands. I am so nervous about this drive. And my heart is like stopping right now. Because part of that, if I make one error, going downhill on the moonloaf part we go over the edge and so um and last night we were being pushed just on villa grove look at how much it's snowing right now and up there it's going to be a lot more but look at how beautiful this looks man oh there you go buddy there you go buddy my car kept on sliding down this little hill right here so i want to make sure the guy keeps on going so i don't run into him okay so yeah, we are definitely gonna hit some nice snowflakes up here. Once we get into Moonridge especially. We're probably, there's probably some snowbows around here instead of rainbows, snowbows. But it's really coming down in the Moonridge area. You can see in Snow Summit, you can hardly see it. Like, if you don't catch this little soft, you're going to catch some serious air right here. All right. So the further we go this way, the darker it's going to get with more snow falling. It's just so awesome. I am so excited because we'll get to keep the time lapse on until uh, tomorrow, probably around noonish. Not because of more snow until then, but just, so, just because uh, we'll let it go through the night. That was pretty cool. He didn't want to wait. I don't blame him. That guy drives the way that I want to drive on tape, but I don't want you guys to get mad at me. But did you guys see that? He went over the sidewalk and everything. <laughs> like he avoided all the traffic. That was freaking sweet. That's giving me a little extra courage right now. But yeah, it's really coming down right now, guys. This is freaking sick, dude. Freaking sick, dude. Ja, ja, right. Ja, ja. I'm excited. This gets me really, really going. I'm glad I looked at the camera because it started blinding us again somehow. For some reason, this stupid camera does that once in a while. It's, it, it's an iPhone camera. I don't use my iPhone 13 or 12. They sit in the box, like, I'm always worried that like if I really need money since I haven't opened them, I can sell them again. Obviously I'll take quite a loss, but I can still sell them as brand new phones. I pay for the two or the two or three year Apple Care plus theft, which is like $249 for the whole thing, for all of my phones, and, and, and this is one of the older phones. This is one of the older phones that I'm using because I don't want to have to use any of the other uh, newer stuff just in case I need a little extra money come, come down the road sometime. Okay, guys, this is going to be freaking beautiful up here. There's going to be so much snow. Okay. Gotta roll down the window a little bit. It's a little warm in here. But it is 21 degrees outside. I bet it's gonna be in the teens when we get up here to the top. This is just marvelous, simply marvelous. Um, oh, there's a, there's a coyote up there. Look, 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 look. They're so freaking cute, dude. See him? He's right, he's, he's right there. Come on, coyote buddy. There he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at that cute little guy. Or girl. I want to see Caesar tame one of them. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, buddy? Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's such a cute little doody 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 
You guys, this is gnarly. Once we get away from all this traffic, we're gonna be good, good, good. All right, here we go. Oh, I see blue sky up here, but it's still snowing really good. So guys, we're taking the infamous moon loaf. And this is the gully that I tell you guys it's really good to bring your kids to go sledding because they can start at the top and they will never run into a car because they'll slow down automatically by going up the other side. This gully runs all the way through this neighborhood right here. It goes through the whole thing. Not a lot of people use it for sledding. And I suggest when we get this much snow, you guys bring your kids there because it's free. Just be careful where you park, that's all. So you don't get towed or anything like that. But honestly, in these conditions, it's probably gonna be hard for them to, to tow anybody because they have a lot of work to do. So keep that in mind. I'm not telling you to do anything illegal or nefarious, but have fun while you're here. Seriously, that's, that's why you guys come up here. We gotta turn on Calusa. Okay, here it is. Once again, you can see that gully area. It goes through this whole neighborhood. And some parts it's like 25, 30 feet up and down each side. So that's plenty, look. I think you can see right here. Look at that. Look at how much fun that would be. From right here you slide down and then they'll stop at the bottom and come up a little bit on the other side. This whole area. Look at how much snow we're getting into up here. This is just nasty. I can't believe we're doing this. I am such a moron. But I'm a happy moron, so that's okay. We're going up a very steep slope right now, you guys. That's why I'm kind of gunning it a little bit to make sure that we don't have any issues. Dun, 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 dun. 20 degrees, I told you we'd get into the teens up here. Man, I gotta hit the gas to get up this bad boy. Look, see, this is how I wish all the trees down there looked. Complete, almost completely white. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Hallelujah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I got a nice car shining through the snow. Ready to go. Alright, so now we turn right on Canyon Crest. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I'm really done for doing this, this drive today. But it is what it is. Look at how beautiful that dog is. Guys, they, they, they got a foot, up, a foot up here for sure. I am so glad we decided to take this route even though I'm scared out of my freaking underwear right now. Just for the moon loaf part. But since it's so cold, it might be a little better. It's snowy, man. Alright. There we go. Now we go this way. Gosh, it's so pretty up here. Oops, I better slow down. I, I sometimes get a little too excited. The last thing I want to do is run over some damn cute little kids, man. <clears throat> 19. It is 19 up in this hizzy. Seriously, guys. Oh my gosh, my stomach is like turning right now because of what we're about to do. Okay, buddy. Yeah. See that street Columbine right there and makes me think about Denver. <clears throat> I lived in Denver for the for two years right before that major Columbine incident. gray over here but it was really 
nice modern houses up here. Beautiful. Big, beautiful houses up here. Have fun getting up here, but yeah, big, beautiful houses. This feels like mammoth up here, all the snow. This is like, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I like. Just absolutely beautiful. Damn, they got more than a foot up here. Now we gotta slow down right here because if we go any faster, we're not gonna be able to stop at the bottom here. Pump my brakes a little bit. Look at this, it's really huge. Huge. What a sweet life that would be. Guys, I'm nervous. I am really nervous about this, but I think I think we'll be fine. Kind of, yeah. I'm really nervous. Road not maintained. Yeah, they got a foot up here. Easy. Thank God my car's lifted. Or else we'd be dragging bottom. So this isn't the part that I'm worried about. This is like the really fun part. The next, oh, oh, oh. The next part is not fun. The next part is white knuckle driving. Oh God. Oh God. The phone's getting too hot. Oh, God! Oh, my God! All right. All right. I'm gonna turn this corner pretty hard here. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Boom, shakalaka. Yeah, they got, a, they got about 15 inches up here. Insane, guys. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane! And insane that no breeze! <laughs> okay, here's the part that really terrifies me. Going down this steep, steep, oh jeez. Going down this steep, 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 steep slope right here. Oh my God, this is gonna be nuts. I am so stupid, why am I doing this? Look, see, if we screw up, we're going down there. So we're just gonna take it easy. Put it down in first gear and just take it easy, man. Okay. You can do it, Nick. Take it easy, man. Take it easy, bro. I know it doesn't look that gnarly to you guys, but we're already kind of uh, not not able to, to control the, the braking, even though I'm pumping it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Please, God, please make it, please. Please, for the love of God. Oh, please let me get through here. It's very scary. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, we made it. I think we were just about to the bottom. Yes, we didn't hit. We didn't have to roll into there. Oh my gosh, that is so great. I didn't have to worry as much as I did. We made it, guys. <laughs> All right. Now this can be pretty rough too, but not in my bad boy. Just gotta gun it up here. We made it. We're in Sugarloaf now. So guys, Moon Loaf is what connects uh, Moon Ridge and Sugar Loaf, hence Moon Loaf. And it's, uh, I'm glad my windshield wiper fluid still works when it's 19 degrees, which is great because if you have four wheel drive or all wheel drive, you can typically make that drive instead of having to deal with the hours of traffic on Big Red Boulevard, you can cut the whole town off just going through there. But you gotta take a lot more risk and a lot of people are not willing to do that. I don't blame you, but that was freaking awesome. Yeah, that may have 
have been maybe even 18 inches of snow, you guys. That was really, really deep snow. And this guy who's driving doesn't use tire chains ever because I am a, a Dumas. Dumas. I am a Dumas. My middle name should be Nicholas Dumas Amstetter. Hello, you Dumas. How are you doing, Mr. Dumas? Yeah, that was awesome. That was freaking awesome sauce. So now we're just gonna drive uh, down. Oh wait, we're not gonna go down Maple. You guys have seen that one video that 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 some other guy up here posted of all those cars crashing. That's the, that's that's the way down that most people go down from Sugarloaf. We're gonna go down Baldwin, like we did earlier. Especially when it's 19 degrees right now. Okay, I can't believe we made it that easy. We made it that easy, my friend. It was very fun at the end. We made it that easy, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. Easy's General Store. Got a good friend who lives right there. They're such awesome people. drive through Baldwin to go home but this video is gonna be freaking awesome because of what we just did so I'm excited about that and you know what we're gonna cut across Manzanita on this side we didn't take this side of Manzanita at all earlier today oh oh almost slid right through all right. oh yeah Oh yeah, we're not going to go down Maple, we're going to go down uh, Baldwin. But I want you guys to see the discrepancy in snow in Baldwin Lake than in my side of town and up here. Look at this guy in shorts. Yeah, buddy. That reminds me of me. The only guys you see really jogging like that up here are the fighters. I took BJJ for quite some time, but once I started getting really, really, really busy, the excuses started coming. And my, my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach, uh, he disappointed me tremendously in life. And it really, it, it really bothered me because he's, um, He's a Gracie Jiu Jitsu product, and he's he's almost a black belt. He has his brown belt with some other accolades with the brown belt. Um, why am I spacing fucking free? Oh, I almost said the F word. Why am I spacing the specific Gracie's name? Um, because I know them all. So, uh, oh my gosh. I, I want to say he learned under Horion Gracie, but I'm not totally certain. Wow, this guy's going super slow. Um, I'm glad I'm going the other way. But once again, guys, that's just me, you know, being like not, I don't know. You, you guys know me. Come on. I try to do better. Like John Travolta, I try. I'm trying to do better. Well, I mean, there's probably three or four inches over here, which is 
you know when there's this much snow on this side of town, our side of town got quite a lot of snow. We haven't gone to the dam yet. There's probably a good foot over there, but we saw 18 inches of snow up at the top of Moon Ridge, which is just pretty spectacular. I did not expect to see that much. I did expect to see a foot, not that much. So as I said, we're gonna go through, through Baldwin. How is this even possible? I haven't hit one car on this road yet. Uh, right when I say that, we're gonna be right behind that white truck. Okay. Here's Big Bear Bully Barn. Big Bear Bully Barn. It's the bully of the barn. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful sun. Guys, just don't stare into the sun. So I'll bet when we get to the other side of Baldwin, there might be like an inch or two of snow, that's it. And guys, it's the same elevation up here. There ain't nothing different in the elevation. Just in the area we're in. over here and it's gonna get less and less you guys I bet we're gonna see some brown spots over here that's how crazy this is man and I didn't bring enough of my little nicotine pouches so I'm not I might get into a bad mood here in just a minute so you guys have to just just bear with me here I might start crying throwing a tantrum acting like a spoiled little brat so just beware just beware Oh, I can see brown all the way over there. And I'm not talking about the UPS truck. That is definitely brown. It's not the brown I'm talking about. I can see like brown without any snow on it straight ahead, way out there. That's where we're going. It's brown, man. Hallelujah, it's brown, man. Bow, 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 bow. Seriously, get these stupid ass songs out of my head already for the love of snowfall. And guys, our friend Jolene Creech from this channel, who's been very sweet to me for a long, long time, they had snow down in Yucaipa. And another one of you, another friend of mine in San Bernardino on this channel said that you guys got snow all the way down in San Bernardino. That is so cool. That is snow cool. I really don't have a job in comedy, do I? Well, at least I gave it a go. So here's Baldwin Lake out here. And blue skies. That is so pretty, though. Place to go sledding right here. For free, yo, for free. guys there's like maybe two inches of snow at the most out here i mean this is crazy there's like two inches that's it this is amazing and then look you can see it's snowing on my side of town over there you see where it looks really blurry out there it's snowing that's what it looks like when it's snowing from far away and we should be able to see a snow bow if that sun was shining through but it's not so oh well that's a little chilly out here man but having the window down makes it much better to point the camera out like that. Look at how beautiful that view looks. Oh my God. Sorry about using the G word a lot. I don't want to offend anybody. I'm not trying to use it, it, you know, anyone's name in vain here. 
I just get too excited and then I sometimes say words I probably shouldn't say. If you guys go back six or seven years, man, every other word out of my mouth was the F word. It's terrible. Terrible. On these videos, because I didn't think anyone was going to watch them. These were just for me. For when I get really depressed on life, just watch it snowing and it makes me feel better. I really didn't think anyone would actually watch these videos. So I wasn't talking half as much. And I was cussing every time I was talking. I sounded like such a pirate. Hey, do you guys know why pirates are called pirates? Because they are. <laughs> I know that wasn't funny. I tried. <laughs> like this over here I remember one time I saw there was like eight inches or a foot out here and at the, at, at the Big Bear Dam there was almost four feet of snow I can't believe we made it through uh, Moonloaf like we did that just blows my mind how easily we pulled that off especially up there. Jeez Louise, there's like no snow at the top up there. That is crazy, you guys. If you guys understood how crazy that is, it's crazy. It's only eight miles to the Big Bear Dam from here. Straight down that way, straight down that way. All the way down that way. You know the kind, but you know the kind shoots. like reggae this album right here is amazing it's wailing souls all over the world is I believe the, uh, the name of this album I promise you you will like every single song I am not kidding you if I'm telling you I promise you you guys will be freaking stoked totally stoked holy moly controlly hello hello Hello, my friend. Hello. show me so much respect and you guys care about what I do and care about me personally it's, oh yes 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 my friend
Okay, so you guys see it's really blurry out there? That's snowing. We're gonna be driving right into that pretty shortly. this way the snow is going to start getting a little bit heavier even though we're at, we're, we're at the tail end of this storm so there's not too much more but that's it's really nice what's happening right now though i gotta tell you that i've enjoyed this a lot it's back up to 22 degrees Highway 18, you guys, on the back side. This is what they consider Highway 18 on the back side. We're not going to go all the way to Fonskin today because we did the moon loaf, but we will be doing the whole drive tomorrow for the aftermath. And we're going to try and get up before the temperatures get above freezing. It's not supposed to get much above freezing anyway tomorrow, but I want to make sure we, we get up when it's still really, really cold so not much snow, if any, melts. So we can get a really good, a really good aftermath video, you know what I'm saying? Big Bear City, baby, 6,754 is the elevation, yo. Further we go this way, the more snow we'll come into. You're not going to see any dry patches out here, especially the further we go this way. Not at all. You're going to see full coverage over here. So if you guys happen to get a house for Airbnb in Baldwin Lake, I hope you don't like 
snow because that's what you're going to be in an area that doesn't get much snow at all. For instance, I've seen plenty of storms where it'll snow five inches by the dam and they won't have anything out there. Lots of storms like that. And I have them all on video too. So I'm not lying, I swear. I swear by the snow It's like the little house on the prairie. That neighborhood is so sweet, man. It's sick, bro. It's freaking sick. All right, good. It's snowing again. I need to clean the windshield a little bit. This guy in this Dodge truck is doing a dang good job. Look at how thick those clouds are right there. Wow. How do you angry clouds? Snow Summit right there. Or no, that's Bear Mountain actually. No, that's Snow Summit. My bad. Woohoo! Woo -hoo said tomorrow we'll do the whole valley for the aftermath. The aftermath. Alright. And around this corner is 
another nice view. You get to see Snow Summit just blah right in front of you. Right when we make this left. Look at that. Look at that. That is so amazing. What a beautiful place to be. I can't stop talking about it. It's just so pretty. Start off, so I should be turning green here right now. Oh, there we go. we lived in the same name of this truck in front of us, the Tahoe. I wish we lived in Tahoe. If I didn't have to worry about like trying to find a job and stuff like that, then I would I, I would definitely move up there for, for a season or move up to Mammoth. But that's the big concern for me is that I, I, I have to have employment or else I have nothing. I need to be able to pay my rent and help my mom and dad still. Alright, well, we're almost back here. Alright, guys, I think we're gonna shut this bad boy down. Hope you guys had a good drive. Hope you enjoyed Moonloaf. It was at the very beginning. Well, from here all the way up there, yes. So pretty close to the beginning. Love you guys.